Uh, the game that I want to be able to talk about today is a game that I had a hankering to play the last week. Like, I have no idea what it was. I went the week that the podcast came out. I yeah. didn't really play anything. And then um, I then I wait. Yeah. And then this last week, I just had this mad hankering to play me some Baron Park. Uh, oh, Baron, a, a, a hankering for a spankering? No. No, no, not okay. quite. No, just a all hankering right, right. of playing some Baron Park. There is no rhyming oh, cool. that I can really talk about <laughs> right now with this. Uh, I'm not smart enough uh, on my wits to think of anything. But let's get back to Baron Park uh, by Lookout Spiel, developed by Phil Walker Harding. This game is a little treat. In this game, um, yes, more, <laughs> more root. There is no root. You can't. Talk about Root in Baron Park, unless if they add a bear faction. Confirmed, oh, right? Uh. Confirmed. <laughs> now at this point, it's like, can we? we it's like, can we go a segment without mentioning Root at this point? It's not possible. Yeah, not I, possible. I, still, I, I'm sick of us talking about Root. All right, moving on. So, uh, Baron Park. So in this game, we are all like Baron Park chinewers. Like we are all basically um, like a CEO of bear parks in all these different types of uh, countries. So like there's Japan, there's France, there's like uh, the UK, United States, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, yeah. If, okay. So there's like, it's four player boards or four park entrances. And there's like a flip side to each of them that has like its own nationality. So anyways, what you're, what you're doing is you're like this entrepreneur that's building a bear park so that uh, people can go in and experience the loveliness of all bears. And the objective is that you start off with nothing. You have the entrance to this park and you have all this type of land to be able to fill with different sorts of cool stuff. And what you do in this game is very, very simple. This is one of the easiest games I've ever had to learn slash teach is that in this game, you're going to take a specific tile. So this tile could be like a bathroom. It could be a path. It could be a playground. It could be... Uh, like a little river, or it could even be um, bear enclosures. So you have koala bears, panda bears, brown bears, and polar bears. And then you have bigger of these different types of enclosures that exist as well, too, on this huge kind of like, I don't know, it's like a player board. And then there's like outlines where you stick all these different Tetromino-esque-like shapes on the board that have different points. And your objective is that on this Bear Park 16 by 16 square grid, you are putting down a tile onto this uh, specific grid and you're filling it out. So essentially you're building your Baron Park. And on this 16 by 16 square grid, there's going to be like four or five different icons that you will eventually cover up. So you'll either un uh, cover up a green wheelbarrow, uh, a white cement truck, an orange like construction like like i don't know digger thing and then you have um these construction dudes and every single time you take a tile from your supply and place it into your barren park you may cover up one of these icons in which you get to go to this like i don't know archives or supply of different types of tiles and pick that pick one corresponding to the color and put it into your supply so all you're doing is basically putting a tile onto the board, that's it. And then if you're covering up anything, you get tiles to put more into your supply. That's and the cool. objective of the game is that there will eventually be like expansions to your park that you will get that you have to align orthogonally. And you are going to then be putting these tiles, moving into your park and essentially creating a four by four, like whole barren park grid that's gonna be filled with all different types of bears, uh, like french fry stands and <laughs> like toilets and all this other kind of stuff. And the first person to be able to fill out all four of their squares uh, triggers the end of the game. And then everyone else has one last turn to be able to do as much as they can before the end of the game. And so one of the things to think about though, that as you start covering up each specific part of this bear park land or each grid is that there is one spot that you cannot build in and it's a like a hole. And the reason why you can't build that is because when you cover up all other 15 squares in this whole 16 by 16 grid, you are uh, then awarded with a bear statue that is worth uh, however many points. So it goes from like one point to 16 points, depending on the number of players that you play with. And so the first person to fill out their first square, uh, gets the highest scoring panda and puts it filling out their 16 by 16 grid. 
And so then this kind of continues back and forth until once again, like everyone fills, you know, someone fills out their four bear park lands and then the game ends by just adding up all your points. Um, each game takes about like, I would say 30 minutes. If that 30 minutes, depending on how long you think about things or what have you. And mm-hmm. that's it. That's the entire game. Uh, and it's pretty great. It's pretty good. I it's, had a really good sounds, time with this. Okay, so every time I heard about this game, and I, I looked at it a tiny bit, so I, I knew what the box looked like, yep. and I knew what the title was. I never thought it was actually about bears. <laughs> that, it that, says Baron Park in the I, title, dude. <laughs> I, I understand, and I thought that was something else, because that's not bear to There's me. There's a giant bear on the cover. Right. I understand. <laughs> I understand, and that's why I'm saying this right now, because I'm an idiot. Like, I completely just, re- like, I never put the two together. You it's wanna, about bears. It's, it's about a totally, a It's totally about bears. Okay, so, um, so we got the panda. We got polar bear. We got black bear and brown bear. Is that right? Correct. And yeah. then there's an expansion that bears. comes out with Grizzly Bear. Oh, there is Grizzly Bear. All right. There's All well, right. it's in the expansion called the Bad News Bears. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. I'm dead serious. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, yeah. We have a, a question on the on the chat. Uh, but, but what kind of bear is best? Uh, bear skin. I, no, that's creepy. Well, Sorry. no, that's that's a line. <laughs> that's that's, that's creepy. Line. Um, as a kid, I always loved polar bears. In fact, I actually had growing up a little polar bear. Uh, stuffed animal. So I'm gonna have to say that uh, beats bears. Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> that polar and mine bears. Mine is mine is Winnie the Pooh bear. So. Oh, nice. Wait, that's a that's yeah. a swerve. That's a cute swerve. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Thank you. But uh, also too the the artwork that graces our bottom right hand side of the screen. Which hang on, I can't even. Yeah. I'm totally. Is it there? Yeah, you're right over there. No, I'm just pointing at your face. Uh, that's oh. our. That's our great friend Clemens Franz. Yeah, a classic. He, he just does it. Just nails it. Look at that bear. Like that bear is like just straight up like confused and angry. I don't know okay. bear like. I suppose. Okay, but did you know this game is actually about bears? I totally. The yes, from the moment I picked it up and read the title and saw the picture of the bear, I completely realized it was about bears. You. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Silly, I don't know why they connected man. that. Um. So last thing I want to talk about, uh, Baron Park is that. So yeah, it's super easy. I think anyone that likes Tetris, I think would totally dig this game. Um, one thing to so that in itself, what I described is the base game, and that's totally fine. Uh, But if you wanted to add the quote unquote expert variation to this game, you have achievements that you're able to collect throughout the game in which if you match certain, I don't know, requirements, you know, bestowed upon the achievements that are ended up deciding before you play the game, you end up getting more points. So you end up, I don't know, having to create, I think, like a long river or being able to maybe have the most amount of toilets. I didn't, I, in the games that I played, I played two, two player games and a one, three player game. Um, I, we never brought it out because we never thought that it was needed in order to have fun. Mm -hmm. I think we were just able to purely joy, enjoy the game as it is. And so I think just on a pure level of just being able to be like something to break out to the parents and be like, Hey, like, let's play this. Uh, it does an excellent job. And I think it's well worth the accolades and the reprint that this game has gotten. Um, but for me personally, as a board gamer, there's something that seems a little bit too like, okay, I get it. I think within the three times that I played it, I played or I saw what I needed to see, even when I didn't play it with the expansions, uh, was interesting, or not the, the expansions, the achievement tiles. Uh, the expansion, though, does interest me because it adds a fifth exit tile to the game, mm. and it adds the grizzly bears, and so there's a few other tiles and things that it does add that I think might warrant a, an extra play or two. I don't know, though, how long it will lengthen the amount mm-hmm. of game for me, but in still, like... Uh, the game itself, I think, was great. I think it was fun. It's at a good price point. Um, yeah. You know, and it's just like, I and I can acknowledge it as being just, it's a solid, solid game. But for me, though, I'm looking for something a little bit more uh, meatier, chunkier, something yeah, like yeah. that. And I mean, I don't know. That's just personally, me. This that doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's just like one of right. those games where I was like, I got to experience it, play it. Like, I enjoyed it. I just... I, it might be something that I might end up selling to a family or to someone else that might enjoy it a little bit more um, than me. Uh, and that's just personally how that is. And I will see what happens it, from there. Uh, it looks very interesting. And I, I would definitely be interested, but I think my lack of shelf space couldn't bear it. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> you know, you almost had me, and I was like, I should have known. I should have known that the bear pun would have been coming. I'm actually surprised that the severe lack of bear puns. I know, I know. Um, so hey, what's uh, you know, it's what, it's what it is. But um, Baron Park uh, by Phil Walker Harding. I would strongly recommend you check it out. Also, fun fact: guess what other game um, Phil Walker Harding has done? Sushi I Go. Have no idea. Oh, really? Yes, he's also done Sushi oh, Go. He he man, has actually game. done a lot of cool stuff. He also did Gizmos. Oh, okay. Yeah, so For like Simon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's weird because like this is the first game where I felt like his name was prominently in the title. Yeah. Because like if I would have like for some reason seen him on Gizmos or something, I was like, oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I, th- I was really surprising to look at his uh, BGG profile and be like, oh, he made this. Oh, he made that. That's really awesome. And then he made Baron Park. Um, Speaking of Sushi really Go, cool. the dice version of it just came out. Yeah. And with how popular Sushi Go is, I haven't heard anything of the dice game. I haven't either. I heard it's good from All right. I think from some Instagram posts. Yeah. Um, it, it looks cool. I love sushi go, so. Yeah. That's what cool. was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, there was some other thing out, but I'm going to blurt it out as soon as I probably say it as All you're right. describing your next game, but that sounds good. Uh Baron Park Phil Walker Harding, uh definitely check it out. I think it's a great game. 